What's happening, everybody? It's Two Truths and All Facts, and we back. I'm your boy, Ty Knight. This is my co-host. I'm TT, aka TT Gilbert Photo. We got a reoccurring face, looks like. <laughs> About to get into it. It's your girl, Shai Angela. Yeah. All, All right. right. So, uh... Lately, uh, we've been seeing a lot about the baby falling off, so we wanted to talk about that real quick. Because uh, I feel like CC predicted this one if you go back and Big watch time. some of the earlier videos. Big time. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I yeah. was, I'm, I'm still a champion of his hood run yeah. before people knew who he was, but it is okay. what it is, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. So we're going to get into it a little thoroughly just because it seems like it just. I mean, it's a ball rolling downhill for him, I feel like. And, you know, I'm always going to root for an underdog, but th this, you know, I really predicted this. Um, I think it was about two or three months ago before the first situation with um, him not selling enough tickets in New Orleans happened. Um, it was kind of right before his first album, and I was just like, look, if the music don't change, you know, things will not remain the same. And they haven't. Um, I feel like before, first and foremost, before anything, the fall of his career is because of his music. How do you guys feel? What What would you say about that? Okay, now he did keep a steady flow of the same stuff, so that is a, re a repeat of that. You know, some people don't want to really listen to the same thing over and over. But that I shook also, so. Ah. Yeah, but I also think it was what he was saying about the LGBTQ plus community. Like, oh, yeah. you know how we come when it come down to us, so... Him speaking out about that, then he had other stuff going on. So I think he kind of low-key seen this coming. Like, you got to be ten toes down if you're going to be riding down this wave. Like, he wasn't keeping up. So now he following. Yeah. I, I would have to agree. I feel like he got to a point where, like, he topped out. Like, he wasn't evolving. The music wasn't evolving. It right. wasn't different. I mean, and I've heard him do some stuff. Right. Like his right. his, his beginnings that he could have brought into this new music and made it right. like part of his new style. But he was just, like you said, that Suge sound. Once he found that, it was it was what he ran with because that's what was popping on TikTok yeah. and, and everything. And I feel like that's really been his thing for years. And you know, the substance you, of the music, too. I wanted to say that. Yeah. And he said the same thing in there. Every yeah. time. You and then know. his dance kind of hyped it up because, you know, everybody doing it, so now he's going to add that dance, that right. pump, that... You know that that pop that adds to his music. Right, and there might be some people like I mean, if you really go through and look at the lyrics, I ain't, I will say I ain't done that. But every song sound the same, and and it's like just the same words words like yeah. shuffled around, and like even if he ain't saying the same shit, like even if he's saying like some authentic like personal real stuff in the songs, like you can't really tell. And, and yeah. that's yeah. unfortunate, you know, because I do feel like he's got a lot of artistry to him, but he's definitely been one of those right. people to strive off that gimmick come up, you know. Right, yeah. and it's not to say, like, he doesn't have, like, those freestyles that he has out, the two, um, the one, what beat did he get all, um, on? Man, why am I playing it? I'm gonna put a clip here. Off the top, don't believe the hype, niggas. Baby, I'm pushing P. Double off venom outside, drop the window with the light just to let them hoes look at me. Yeah, I won't keep it, I'd rather be free with her. Give it back to the streets, keep it G with her. Might fuck with me for three years. Only three times will I sit down in public and eat with her. Must have forgot who he is. I've been fucking niggas hoes since 15. It's a surprise, only got me three kids. Look in his eyes, you can tell that he real. Look on the net, you might think that he fake. Look at the plats, the stats, and where I came from. Ain't no way you can say he ain't great. So I have to wake up today and go sell my estate. Nigga, I don't want I got plenty of games, shut out my nigga 50. Seem like these other big homies, they're afraid to kick it with me. They was on my dick when I was on Billboard out here killing niggas. I was curving hoes, but I had a few y'all niggas bitches with me. One thing you know, I never be nigga that's scared of y'all. I be ready to let it off. You would think I fuck with Queen Latifah the way I set it off. You would think the chance I take is cheap the way I bet it off. You would think I can go play in the league, I would never scare the ball. You would think I was 50 in the These two freestyles, um, really kind of you know i felt like rubbed his engine a little bit when when they came out but then anytime he delivers a song i'm just like what is this and then back to what you said um i said the music was number one but right behind the music i feel like it's his scandals like you said yeah. the comments he made with the lgbt community the comments he makes you know the situation he was going through with his baby mama yeah. like you know people whether or not whose fault it was people just don't get down with that you know 
Um, and then, yeah, the over his career, she's been so much, you know, beating up fans and yeah. um, just always on go. Like, I think that turns people away eventually because it's just like, okay, like, you know, I feel like one day he's going to get his, you know. Yeah. Even if he's that guy for real with the hands, like, you just talk about it so much to where it's it's overrated to me personally. I feel like his controversy is overrated. So, yeah, that's your vitamin A. It's just like, at first, like, he can't. I think a lot of people felt like he represented, like, courage and bravery mm -hmm. and, and real niggas and family and, and ten yeah. toes you know what well, she is family about his family and, but. and loving his girl he rep when he first came on the scene he represented all that shit mm -hmm. as he has lived his life in this spotlight you see that like this nigga was just talking yeah you know um and except about his family i'm gonna say that he is, I, that's one thing he is very yeah. open about he posts his family a lot so i get it but everything else is just like you know? Yeah, it's like he went from being the hero to being the bully. Right, right. Yeah. But, like I said, who knows? Maybe I would like, you know, I'm not going to say, you know, like die in the dirt. But, like, maybe he can change something up. But right now, well, I feel say, like he's... I mean, they say he's still selling out shows. He's still, like, from no, he fluctuating man. from, like, 75% no. capacity. To, no, he ain't doing nothing. No. Not, not this the, past I'm week, telling you, not the... He got buy one, get one free tickets. What yes. do that at? Yes. <laughs> I've never heard of that. And then they did they did uh, not even buy one. Him, bro. Buy one, get one free <laughs> Concert tickets, Ty. Where have you seen that promoted before? I've never seen nothing like this. <laughs> Buy one, give one. Uh, but okay, okay, like. And like she said, somebody denied it. <laughs> somebody denied, denied it. it. Like that was in, yo, I, that would hurt the ego yo, and the soul. Got a female too, like. I mean, uh, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Is is. That's why he's trolling now. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, but that ain't selling out. That's true. That ain't selling That's out. That's true. What yeah. they said, I was about to say, fluctuating from, from <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. know, that 70, 60, 75% yeah. capacity to yeah. sold out. Yeah. So, but yeah. yeah. Like, I'm excited to see, I don't know, I'm not gonna be excited for anybody's downfall, but I'm interested to see what his career is gonna look like um, within the next year, 2023, what we're gonna see from him. If he's gonna let the controversy, I don't know. Go. He said he always about the controversy though. Like this, he just said he is good at freestyler as Eminem, which like, uh, you know, it ain't. It, it, I might. I was thinking about it because at first I really wanted to clown this nigga for saying that, but I'm thinking about like this generation of rappers. Like niggas ain't really freestyling like that, and like if they are, like we yeah. ain't seeing them too often. Right. You know? So. He he might be. I feel like that's why. Yeah. I feel like that exact thing you said about the freestyling is why like, um, or like why you know finesse two times. He did have you know success and he started having buzz before he went to jail. But just reminding people like man, people really getting it out here with you know beating on the on on, yeah. on the table. Yeah. You know they really can you know pop it just with a simple beat. You know because I feel like sometimes we can get lost in all of the new you know get lost in the 808s and get lost. Yeah. You know what Kanye said about the 808 frequency? It ain't all that crazy. Okay, it ain't all that crazy. That's all I'm saying. I mean but. he. I give it to Kanye because them motherfuckers, they went out to Hawaii, fucking, they started recording and they used the 808s like they ain't never really been used before. Yeah. But at the same time, like, yeah, we hear a lot of the same Sometimes shit. that stuff, I feel like the more complex beats get, sometimes it can be easier to hide behind it. Yeah, um, yeah. And there's some artists who do it and some artists yeah, who, yeah, you know, they can switch it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so, but sure. yeah, that uh, that's off topic. But I do feel like a good freestyle, a good uh, a artist who can is a good freestyler, um, definitely sets the tone from the others. So, but I no, I don't think the baby's all the way there because I've heard he just put out another freestyle and I wasn't 
all of that. I mean, I, 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 anybody who compares themselves to Eminem, nigga, <laughs> you, you, we gonna have to pop that balloon ass big head. But like, yeah, it's, it's just. Shout out to the Eminem love too, because folks been disrespecting him lately. Yeah. You know? It's like, nah, he did what he had to do with hip hop. I'm, I don't, he I don't did care what he had to do with Eight mile alone, eight mile alone will make me forever big up Eminem. So, yeah. um, yeah, let's not do the slander. I don't know why we're doing that. But, yeah, that's all I got to say about the baby. Like, me personally. Like, I'm just interested to see where his career is going. Hopefully, oh, he tries yeah, something new. Yeah, I don't know. I like him better when he was baby Jesus. So, we on to the next. All right. Mm-hmm.